Our people are dying seven to ten years earlier than non Māori. Our people are dying seven to ten years earlier than non Māori. There are plenty of reasons why you shouldn't eat people. Turns out, we carry some pretty nasty diseases that make 24-hour food poisoning look like the sniffles. Eat someone raw, and you risk contracting any bloodborne diseases they carry. But even if you cook the meat, it still won't always go so well for you. The brain tissue contains prions, deadly misfolded proteins that form spongy holes in your brain. They survive the cooking process and, if eaten, are highly contagious. After the body was laid out, the brain was removed and cooked inside bamboo with some ferns. The rest of the body was fire roasted and eaten as well. The infected would sometimes laugh maniacally as they slowly withered away. Creepy, right? These brain-eating protons were identified as the culprit for the rare creutzfeldt jakob disease and fatal insomnia. Prions may also be the cause of Alzheimer's disease. You probably committed some crime along the way to get that slab of meat. Grave robbing, desecration of a corpse, murder... I killed a man, flogged at him, and ate him. Since then, he is always with me. Even if you don't die from contracting a disease, mass consumption of human anatomy does not seem to be very good for the body. An autopsy was performed on Terret, a famous French cannibal from the 18th century and it was found that his body was filled with pus, ulcers, and abnormally enlarged stomach, liver, and gallbladder. Cannibalism is a practice that facilitates the emergence of diseases specific to humans. If we ingest the flesh of another person with a disease, we are invariably in trouble. In various religious traditions, ethical and moral principles prohibit cannibalism, and sacred texts often emphasize respect for human life and the integrity of the body. Genetic prion disease follows an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern, which means that if you carry a prion disease causing mutation, each of your children has a 50% chance to inherit the same mutation. If genetic prion disease is present in a family, men and women have the same risk to inherit the family mutation. Inherited health? The Kuru mutation first arose about 200 years ago by accident in a single individual, who then passed it down to his or her descendants. When the Kuru epidemic peaked about 100 years back, there were maybe a couple of families who found that they and their children survived while all their neighbors were dying. And so on to today's generation, who still carry the gene. It's highly likely, even today, that descendants from ancestral cannibals will have a shorter lifespan, due to eating diseased humans. With the diseases being passed down genetically from generation to generation. Thank you for listening. Geraint. On behalf of Funerate Him.